Okay, today let's talk about key calls. So, some of you may know of it, some of you may not. But key cults are, well, it's a brand, right? That brand, um, let's just say that, that to buy a key cult um, keyboard, it's hard. Hard being, they don't sell like other brands where you just pick off an, an options or multiple options and it gets shipped to you. Um, in order to buy a key cult, you either have to A, win a raffle, right? Which, let's be honest, it's pretty hard to do because the amount of people that want key cults versus the amount of people that win versus the amount of people that want to dish out at least five, six hundred bucks at minimum, um, that's hard. The alternative to getting a key cult is to uh, commission one, right? So, so to commission a key cult, the cost is between two thousand to three thousand dollars. Okay. Now the great thing is it'll be bespoke. It'll be exactly how you want it. Unfortunately, I'm not interested in in buying a key cult for two thousand or three thousand dollars. It just doesn't make sense to me. I could buy a bunch of other keyboards at the same time. So, what is the next best option? Is to buy it on on the um, gray market, right? But but everyone knows that you know it carries value. It carries so so. The cheapest you could probably come across a fully functional, fully um, a complete setup would be around one thousand two hundred. Once again, price to me is too high. Not that I can't afford it. I just don't think it makes sense. So what have I done? Well, take a look. This is a key cult. Um, number two, 65. Okay, this is the soldered version. I got this PCB online. I then hunt down for the plate to match. Um, there are many plate colors. This happens to be teal. Unfortunately, finding a plate that's available is hard. So, if you find any plate, you just grab it and call it a day. So that's what we have. Underneath, what I've done to try to do a color matching is I actually have um, Echos. Um, I forgot what these are called. Oh, these are Jelly Blues. Okay. Underneath are the um, so Dorox V1 loop. Okay. Jelly Blue loop. So all this is all built in, all this is all soldered, and all this works. Okay. So, here's the sad reality. Finding parts is just so hard. Like for example now, the only thing that's missing from this is a case. And let's be honest, finding a case is almost as easy as finding a unicorn. It's just that hard. Um, no one sells just a case. Um, but if they do, it, it probably won't come cheap. So. I have to figure out what I can do. Okay, um, just just so you know, while this says key cult, in reality this is a Wilbur Tech WT65. What that means is, is it's done by an outside company that specializes in, in PCB. Keep in mind they're also the same people that that did the Prionic, that did the Plank, and a few others. Um, you will find this particular board, even this particular model board, in, in other keyboard companies like the Bowers, the Enjoys, the Aurora Inputs, the Rama Works. Okay, so what that means is, is if for some reason I can't find the case, I can possibly hunt down the other companies that I've just mentioned and leveraging the case that way. It's got to be slightly different, right? So, for example, I believe it was the Bauer. This key is missing. For the Rama Works, these two keys are missing. That kind of thing. So, so you have to, um, you won't get exactly how you want it. But, but that's one of the options and that's what I'll probably do. Um, and then I'll show you guys in the next video on, on what I decide on. You guys tell me.
what other um, brands that you know of that use the WT65 uh, PCB that, that you've tested with? So I'm, I'm in the hunt, and, and honestly, that's the fun part for me, right? To, to find and build the things together. So, so the ultimate goal is to find the real um, key cult case to put this in so that way it's complete. However, in the interim, what I will do is I'll probably find an alternative one. Because at the end of the day, as long as it fits, as long as, as it works perfectly, I can always reuse it somewhere else. Maybe I'll buy another WT65 from another brand, right? Um, so that's that's one option that I can do with the case. The second option I can do with the case is to hunt down a case normally people wouldn't think of, modify it so this will fit perfectly in, and, and I'll showcase that off. So that's the question for you guys. Should I hunt down, wait, hunt down for a real key coat case? Leverage one of the existing Bauer, Rama Works, you know, um, Aurora case? Or I'll go off the reservation and, and, and actually hack my way through to, to fit this somewhere else? Let me know. I will... Um, make another video as soon as I decide where I want to go. It could be that I'll try all three and in the end landed in, in a um, key cult case to finish it off. But I'll bring you all along so that way you get to learn a little bit something. But ultimately what you see here instead of spending five or six hundred bucks, I actually only spent a hundred and something at the moment. All right. I'm not counting the keycaps of course because this is a mixed match of Dasher with black on whites, and a very ugly uh, space bar. Um, I ran out of space bar, as you can see. But I'll, I'll find a nice MT3 setup to, to fit this in, to make it beautiful. Or I can go GMK. We will see. But at the moment, PCB, plate, both are um, key cults. The um, switches are the Jelly Blue Echoes. And these are the draft keycaps, all just sitting on top. Next video is going to be interesting. I hope you'll like it. Just follow along. All right.